Civil trials are not the same as criminal trials, meaning that nobody's facing prison time or jail time. Uh, often there is a monetary settlement that's being made, um, but it doesn't even have to be that. It could just be kind of a contractual settlement. These are examples of things that could lead to civil trials. This isn't the whole list, but uh, you know, landscaping that needs to be repaired, car accident claims, uh, workman's comp, a remodel gone wrong. Uh, these are all civil trials where people might sue the other person. And so that word sue would be very much linked with civil trial. Um, civil trials are held at courthouses often. Um, usually it's just the judge and the, the, the plaintiff and the defendant. But you'd find these at the lowest level course. Um, the Superior Court in Benton County can hear all sorts of cases. They can hear criminal, civil. Um, but sometimes you get into, when you get into bigger areas, you might have like a family court or a city court that hears specific violations um, or, or, or disagreements on civil law. So roles in a civil trial are a little bit different. Um, you're not going to have a jury. You have the plaintiff, the person bringing the suit, the person doing the suing, or the person that wants damages for something gone wrong. And then you've got the defendant, the party responding. And usually it's just two groups of people. Um, and then a judge usually hears it and makes a determination. It's that simple. There's still evidence. You might bring evidence with you, but it's very much more informal. It's not going to be, once again, a jury. The state is not involved. It is a plaintiff, defendant, judge. Example, criminal, going to prison, right? Violate law. This is an adoption hearing for custody, right? Civil versus criminal is just one example. Another example of uh, civil would be uh, contract disputes, some type of property agreement, some type of estate or family trust, or like I said, divorce, custody, all these types of things. These would all be factors in, um, in civil trials. This uh, slide right here, I'm asking you four cases and to determine what kind of trial it would go to. And uh, the, the best example of a civil trial would be an adoption hearing, right? So that's not going to involve any jail time, criminal defense or anything. Like that. That's just literally going to reach an agreement. Um, the one about murder would go to a criminal trial, of course, because you're violating state law. The ones in the middle uh, could kind of go either way. A uh, lawsuit involving an amusement park ride that broke. If this is kind of assuming as you read this that somebody was injured, if somebody was injured, but it's kind of a, a low, you know, kind of a one-off thing, uh, it's really not that big of a deal. You, it might go civil, just damages or, you know, a settlement on, hey, you know, kind of got injured. If people died or if this was recurring or if there was a negligence and it was really serious and there were safety lapses and it could be investigated, it could go criminal. Uh, it kind of depends, but uh, both could be true. That's kind of the same thing for a case involving unsafe conditions. If somebody slips and falls a little bit negligent on maybe uh, shoveling the driveways and different things of snow, then maybe there would be somebody that would sue the the, the complex. Um, however, once again, if there's been examples of complexes catching on fire and people dying or some people, you know, a complex that collapses, if it was really serious like that, once again, if there's negligence, if there's a safety record that wasn't followed, the maintenance wasn't up to date, the owners knew about it, this could go criminal. So the ones in the middle kind of gray area, but that's kind of how the law is, right? What What's the law? What happened? Is there more to the story? Uh, but the best example, civil adoption hearing.